Okay, so now we're going to group all of our bases together um, so that we've got more control over the compression and things being added to them. Rather than having to go through and, and add a compressor to each of them, we can compress them all as a whole. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down to add group channel track. Click OK. And we can just rename this one to base group or base bus. And then if we go to our distorted base, and if we click on the extended controls, let's bring this over. And just at the top right here, we've got our stereo white. We want to click on this and we want to go to groups and base bus. And we want to do the same for our phase base. We want to click on the stereo white groups base bus and our sub base extended controls base bus and finally the falling base on any base that we put in from here on out as well. We'll go to this. So we've got all of our base coming through here. So what I'm going to do initially is bring the volume back because we are getting some peaks in the red here. So if I just minus nine out of that. And then I'm going to add some uh, compression and uh, distortion to this as well. So we've got our Camel Crusher. I'm going to drop this in again. So make sure you're on your, your base bus. Drop in the Camel Crusher. And we're just going to go for the Annihilate preset. And I'm going to turn the distortion off. And the compressor amount, I'm going to bring it back slightly. Again, just ignore the, the flickering of the screen here. It's just something to do with the plugin. And uh, Snow Leopard. So we've got to turn the fat mode off and just use the compressor that's built into this. Just add a bit of grime to it. And then I'm going to go in right after this and add another compressor. Just to keep control of everything, make sure that we've got it all under control. A bit of a ratio and we're going to use this to add some volume back into it again as well. We'll turn the attack up because we don't want to lose the transients of the base. Especially the bases we've got programmed in here. Let's bring the release time back. And then play about with the analysis. Going to drop another compressor right after this. This time um, we're using this one um, for the basis of sidechain compression. So if we turn this button on at the top and activate this for sidechain compression, this will only compress whenever a kick drum actually or a signal is, is sent to it. So we're using a kick drum for this instance. So we can compress this quite hard. And we'll just uh, do similar sort of settings with the attack, bring the release time back. And we're going to use the peak analysis as we're bringing our kick drum in. And that's fine. So, I mean, this is just the exact same compression, but this time it's dipping a lot harder with the ratio. Um, but it'll only happen when, as I say, when the kick drum comes in. So if we go to our, uh, sorry, our VST instruments, our Groove Agent 1, we've got a kick drum coming through on track number 4. So if we click on this. Go to our sends and then click and our sends we're going to go to our groups or sorry we're going to go down to the bottom here just side chains turn this on and if we apple hold down apple or um i think it's uh control on a pc if you hold that down and click in here you will send zero db or you can just type it in or click the dragger and set it to wherever you want so that is now sending to our sidechain compression. We can double check that. So you'll see now we get a gain reduction only when that kick drum hits. So that just leaves a bit of room in the mix.
Okay, so next we're going to add a tiny bit of EQ. Add a 3 dB or so. And we're going to keep it down in the real sub regions. And we're going to add it as a parametric EQ, so just that wee point in the middle here. Just spread that out. Add a bit of sub to it. I'll just bring out the, the sub bass that's maybe got lost. I'll maybe just bring the sub bass back slightly. Okay, so in the next tutorial, we're going to uh, duplicate out our drums over across another eight bars. I'm going to do a couple of variations and drop a couple of drums out in different sections. And then we'll start bringing in the rest of our basses to fill in those final few holes.